Namaste and hello. This is your Sanskrit instructor opening lesson one. The first thing that we are going to learn today are the alphabetical letters for Sanskrit. The name of the Sanskrit alphabet is Devanagari. If you can follow my cursor here, I have the pronunciation Devanagari. And that is the alphabet that is going to be used for these Sanskrit lessons. So you will be familiar with Devanagari if you learned Hindi because Devanagari is used for several languages in India, for Sanskrit, Hindi, and other languages as well. So on the top here, I have Devanagari spelled here for you. It says Devanagari and it's written in Devanagari. And again, this is the name for the alphabet that is used in Sanskrit. So what I will be teaching you today in today's video are the vowels. Before I get to the vowels, I just want to say that it's not only important to learn how to write the letters for Devanagari properly, but it's also important how to pronounce each syllable because confusing the pronunciation of the syllables can change the entire meaning of a sentence mantra or a prayer in Sanskrit. So in this video we'll be le learning the vowels. So here's an introduction. So in Sanskrit there are 13 vowels in Sanskrit and they're broken up into two sections. So you have simple vowels and you have diphthongs. Simple vowels are broken up into two further sections and those are the short vowels and the long vowels. Now, when I learned Devanagari for Hindi, I did not, I wasn't taught in a way where the short vowels and the long vowels were separated. I learned them together. Um, but what matters to me is that as long as you can identify the correct syllable with the correct letter, that's what matters. So let's take a look at the short vowels and the long vowels. So the short vowels you have a, i, u, ri, and ri with an L over here. Now for the long vowels, now I want you to listen to the difference. We have a, i, u, and ri. So there's a difference between the short vowels and the long vowels. Obviously, the long vowels are stretched out longer than the short vowels. If you listen to the difference between a, a, i, i, u, u, ri, ri, and ri. So ri is the only one that doesn't have a lengthened version of that. So those are the simple vowels. Um, the way how I just pronounced them, a, a, i, i, u, u, ri, the, that was the order that I learned them in. It was easier for me to learn them in that order because of the association between the short vowels and the long vowels. Now going on to the diphthongs. So the diphthongs are a, I, O, and Ao. Those are your diphthongs. And these last two letters that I have in the bottom here for you, these two letters could be considered as vowels in Hindi. When I was learning Hindi, these two letters were considered vowels. Now, they are not considered vowels in Sanskrit, but they are accents that will show up often in Sanskrit, which is why I am introducing um, these accents to you right now. So this accent mark here is ang, and the dot on the top of this a, uh, which I just showed to you here earlier in the short vowels, it's basically this a uh with a dot in the top. So that makes it ung. 
The dot on the top is called anuswar. The dots in the sign makes this letter pronounced as aha. And these two dots in the side, that is called visarg. Again, they're not considered vowels, but we will be working a lot with them. So that is why I would like us to have some practice into um, pronouncing them and also writing them out. So in the next video, we will take some practice into learning how to write all of these vowels here. Again, these are the vowels. They are broken up into simple vowels and into dip diphthongs. The simple vowels are broken up into short vowels and long vowels. And that is your Sanskrit instructor signing off. And I'll see you in the next video.